yourself a favor and buy the book today. Are you a writer, inventor? Do you have questions about your intellectual property rights? Well, tune in every Tuesday and Thursday morning at 11 o'clock for Joy on Paper. Once a month, I will have a special guest, the writer's legal eagle, Bill Larson of Larson & Larson, who can answer your questions. Protect your valuable work. Email me your questions to patsy.radio at gmail.com and then listen in every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. right here on Tampa Bay's Pan Talk Radio Network. That's patsy.radio at gmail.com. If you would like to become a wholesale buyer of the premium quality longevity product that you hear about right here on the Tantalk Radio Network for personal service, you can pick up the phone right now and call Lola at 727-441-3311. Again, that's Lola at 727-441-3311. Or for even faster service, log on to TantalkHealth.com. That's TantalkHealth.com. Here's your health and longevity. Hi, I'm Dawn Reese. Expedia Cruise Ship Centers everywhere under the sun sail. Choose your paradise soaking in the sun and setting your watch to the gentle rhythm of the surf. Yes, your tropical cruise could be just around the corner. Book yours now with Expedia Cruise with Dawn Reese. Free drinks, free gratitudes, $350 credit, specialty dining, $750 in savings, reduced deposit, and you can call now, 727-871-7788, as I'm your vacation consultant and look forward to working with you. Don't turn it off now. You need this stuff. Tampa Bay's Tan Talk Radio Network. It's Daniel Goddard, Kane from Young and the Restless, and you are watching Hollywood Connections. With me, Don Reese. <laughs> hey, this is Jason Thompson from The Young and the Restless. You're listening to Hollywood Connections with Don Reese. I'm Gina Lee Nolan, and you're listening to Hollywood Connections with Donna Reese. Hey, everyone. I'm Cassie Skirbo here at SharkCon 2019 with Don, the lovely Don. And uh, you're listening and watching Hollywood Connections. Squidward Tentacles here reminding you about Hollywood Connections with Don Reese. If you want to know about voiceovers, this is where you need to tune in. You can hear me, too. Ha, ha, ha. Have a great day. Is this thing still on? I am Charlie Adler, and uh, I'm shouting out, I guess that's a word, because uh, I'll be on Hollywood Connection soon. See you then. Cheers. Hi, my name is Brianna Hildebrand, and I am excited to be on Hollywood Connections. Yeah. <laughs> Initialize sequence now. Join the countdown. For actors, modeling, singers, songwriters, musicians, dancers, performers, and voiceovers. From across the nation to across the world. Here with Don Reese on Hollywood Connections on Tan Talk Radio 106.1 FM. Hey, this is Vern Foyer, and you're listening to Don Reese's Hollywood Connections. Hey, what up, you guys? It's your girl, Vivica Fox. You are watching Hollywood Connections on Tan Talk Radio with Dawn. Little foxy thing. Enjoy. Hi. You're listening to Hollywood Connections with Dawn Meese, and I'm Kathleen Gatti from General Hospital, Dr. Liesel Obrecht. Hello. I'm Butch Patrick, and you're listening to Dawn Reese's Tan Talk Radio, Hollywood Connections. <laughs> John Schneider, you're listening to Don Reese on Hollywood Connections. Listening to Hollywood Connections, I'm Kirstie Alley. <laughs> you are listening to Hollywood Connections with Don. And this is Kelly Preston. I'm so excited. Welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Everybody comes here. This is Hollywood. Land the dreams. Some dreams come true, some don't. But keep on dreaming. This is Hollywood. Always find the dream. So keep on dreaming. All right, it's Friday night. You know what that means. It's your number one entertainment show in the Tampa Bay area, Hollywood Connections. Now your host, the lovely and talented Nisi P. And the lady with all the connections, Don Reese. 
You like that, ladies? Lights, camera, action. You're on. The worst today, Peter. Are you okay? I'm good. Okay. That was really good. Thank you. I know. So it's really <laughs> exciting. Before we kick off, I have a celebrity cruise we're working on. I think our VIP is on the line before we go to our guest in-house as well as our VIP call-ins. Who's on the air? We got uh, Jessica on the line, I believe. There you go. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Don. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're so excited because, you know, I've been telling everybody about this cruise after we had Butch Patrick on, which we will play his interview today. Yes. I know. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about this is his first cruise, and this is a celebrity cruise that tell us more about the cruise because um, they're going to be booking through me as well through the radio. Fun. I know. That would be fun. Next November, and you've got the Brady Bunch, Greg Brady. You have everyone. So do you want to tell us a little bit more history? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, this cruise is the first of its kind. Uh, never in history have we had all these great actors and actresses on board a cruise ship from all three major TV networks. Uh, so the cruise is November 4th, or I'm sorry, November 8th through the 14th, 2019. And we are sailing on the Celebrity Silhouette ship. Uh, we're leaving out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we've got three stunning ports of call that we're visiting. We're going to Grand Cayman, uh, Costa Maya, and Cozumel, Mexico. And this cruise is an uh, interactive and immersive uh, experience with these artists because there's only about 400 passengers uh, that will have access to these stars. Wow. And oh. the stars yeah, yeah, and I see, yes. wow, Jerry Mathis from The Beaver, John Schneider we had a couple weeks ago. We have been playing his music. Uh, Jimmy Walker, Judy Norton. Wasn't she on The Waltons? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she was. Wow. Oh, fun. So we're excited, and, and uh, we're going to be talking more about this amazing cruise. I've been social media. So uh, and uh, so there there is a where they have to get their, their deposit down. Right. And what I like, you can make payments, and it comes out every on the 15th, correct? Yes, that is correct. So at the time of booking, you do need to pay a deposit of $350 per person. And then you can make monthly payments up until June 15th for the cruise. Uh, so it's a nice, easy way to, to go uh, and pay on, on this wonderful cruise that we've got. Oh, God, this sounds so much like fun. I'm going to go. I want to go. <laughs> We're excited about that. And they're going to be actually having more of, um, like, panels. They can interview them. They can talk to them, correct? Yeah, that is correct. We're doing artist question and answer sessions. We're playing trivia contests with the stars. Uh, we're doing cooking demonstrations with them. Uh, there's a, a wedding vow renewal ceremony on oh. board with, with the celebrities. So, yeah, there's a lot of fun activities planned with these stars. Super exciting. Well, we have a whole year to promote it, and that's what Hollywood Connections is all about. Yep. And I look forward to I hope. Are you going on the cruise? Yes, I will be there. Nice. Very Yay. nice. Well, we are so excited that you called in. And uh, if anybody's interested, I'm going to shout my number out, 727-871-7788. I'm with Expedia Cruise Ship, and uh, I work with her. Actually, we're going to work very close together in the next couple months with us, sending you a lot of people. Yes, I look forward to it. Super cool. Have you been on the radio before? No, no. <laughs> time. Welcome. You're doing very well. Yes, you are. So right. in, in, your, in what city are you calling from? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, Detroit. I have a reporter Ooh. up there, Carrie. How's the weather there right now? It's cold and rainy. Oh, oh that's <laughs> nice. It's like 32, I think. Oh my oh, goodness! I yes. like that. It's ninety three here. I will take thirty two at this point. I'm, I'm tired of ninety three. I'll take in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you so much for calling in, and we're going to be promoting this cruise. It's all on my social media on Dawn Reese Facebook, and you'll see the flyer out there. And we're excited. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, sweetie. Bye bye. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks so so much. <laughs> I'm like excited about this stuff. That's what Hollywood Connections does. Yeah. So anyways, in the meantime, uh, let's introduce some of our other guests. We're waiting for some VIP call-ins, and I'm trying to call right now. And so Kenny, so he's an actor. We Welcome. Yes, I'm acting right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's and acting now. <laughs> we have... My name is Greg Raven, and I am a mentalist. 
Okay, so you you're gonna have to explain to everybody. What was that? Today, a, ment that is. a mental? A mentalist? I'm just mental. Oh, uh, no, 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 but, no, because I'm looking for a mentalist. Okay, well, you've got one right in front of you. I think um, you may be a mentalist. Basically, <laughs> what, what mental? it looks like is uh, I use my five senses to create the illusion of a six. I like that's that. the best way I can describe. It. I'm a fake. I'm a fraud. I'm a phony, but I'm good at it. Well, that I like. So yes, and I've got some stuff for for uh, for people later on. So oh, yes. Good. Don't believe him. He is not a fake or a fraud. Trust me. Not me, me I, I don't believe that either. The yeah. last part I believe. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple things are happening. Let's talk about the Jazz Festival. Sheena E. Oh, is performing yeah. tonight. Yes. That's right. Sheena E. and Morph Dan the Time, I believe. Yes. Yes, and we're here. I know. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you serious? More stay in the time yes. and chill eat? Yes. Tonight. Wow, yes, I'm going to put some music on. Okay. Oh, yeah, for yes, sure. for sure. Yeah. And then tomorrow, the Dibby Brothers. I'm excited Oh, yeah, about we're going to be one. there. Yes, we're going to be And guess what? Me and Nisi have backstage passes. Oh, we are going to oh. rock so many interviews. Yes. <laughs> we're just going to rock Pictures it. Pictures everywhere. We're going to have fun. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Can't wait. Oh, we'll Can be I there come? Sunday as well, right? And Sunday. And Sunday. You have a breakdown of everything. We want to thank yeah, Hampton and I Cherie. Yeah. And yeah. Thank you, Cherie. Thank you, Hamilton, for the tickets. We are just so excited to go. I know. So in the meantime, we're going to go to some music. I got to go call our VIP caller and see where she's at. Is she on the air? Oh, yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I was just oh, going to call. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, there. Yes, oh, absolutely. Hi. What do I do? What do I do? Hold on now. Let's give her an intro here. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Ready. <laughs> oh, she's right on the beach. She's the perfect 10. She yes, sure she is. is. That's for sure. Oh, Bo Derek. That's right. Uh -huh. Wow, Bo Derek, welcome to Hollywood Connections. Thank you so much for calling in. Oh, thank you so much. Gosh, I just love that, that theme song, you know, from 10 was written um, by Henry Mancini. Ah, oh. wow. yeah, yeah. My producer has a great composer. I know my producer hasn't seen the movie, and I just ordered it for him so he could watch it. Well, we see. I've seen the scene before. I just haven't seen the movie, but the scene to me seems like it would probably, you know, that that's probably the best part of the movie. Just saying, there, perfect ten. <laughs> okay, I can't believe yeah. we have not seen that movie. No, Jesse Moore yeah. as a comedian is the best part of the movie, and Shirley and okay. Shirley Andrews. I still great. watch it. I know. Well, you know, Miss Derek, I, I do call you Bo. Uh, you call have Bo, please. Bo, hi. hi. Uh, I'm Dawn Reese, and I met you. Let me tell you a story. I met you back in California when I just got out of broadcasting school. You were at a pet store with Dick Van Patten, and you were just promoting oh. your um, your mm. pet care. And oh my goodness! I know that was like 20 years ago. And so my yes. mother, before well, she has passed away, but she took a bunch of our pictures. And at the end, she goes, oh, my gosh, Dawn, I only have two pictures of you and Bo Derek. I'm like, Mom, that's okay. No worries. <laughs> and um, and I want to thank you because that meant a lot to me and with my mom there and with your promoting your products. And you also have BoDerekPetCare.com. And that's why we have you calling in number one. We want to promote the heck out of your pet care because I'm a dog lover. And yeah, I have I'm a, a dog lover. Bijan Poo, Jack Russell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your pet line and why it's so different than any other. Well, thank you. Um, you know, it's, pets have taken on dogs, especially a different place in our lives. When I was growing up, they were often tied to a tree or lived in the backyard and they barked at bad guys and, and occasionally someone would go out and just throw food at them. But now they're part of our family. They are our family. Sometimes they are our children. And mm. the problem is they, they live in the house, they're up on the bed, they're up on the sofa, mm. they don't smell good. So we've worked all very hard. We have a patented fragrance that actually neutralizes bad dog odors for months, I mean weeks, months, wow. weeks. And, uh, and it's been a really fun project. And uh, my goal is to keep your dog up on the sofa clean. I love it. I love the shampoo, the conditioner, and the tearless face wash that you have for them. I'm yeah. looking at your website right now, and and that's fabulous. And uh, with, do you use that on your horses as well? Uh -huh. Yes, it's very good for horses. Um, I plan to make a line of horse products, but and I would change the pH a little bit, and probably the fragrance quite a bit. Um, dogs, okay. the horses aren't smelly, so they don't need so much fragrance. So, but it's a hmm. fun project. At this point, 
You know, we as a company, we benefit the retirement of military working dogs. I saw that. So That's fabulous. That, yeah, they do so much for us. They keep us safe. They, they sacrifice their lives uh, so much of the time. Yep. And so when they come home and they get to live as a real dog, mm -hmm. it's nice to help out um, for their owners any extra costs. Yeah, and it's such a life. shame you have such a short life, but, you know. Well, there are babies. My kids are grown now, and, and mm -hmm. mine are our babies. I'll tell, I'll tell you, I get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, Mabo, I was looking at an old documentary that you did. It was amazing. And uh, you had actually, you were younger. You were on a horse, and your story that you gave. Did you ever know at that point when you rode your friend's horse that you'd have a ranch and horses uh, later in life? Was, was that your passion? It was always my fantasy and my dream, but I never thought I would become real. Mm -hmm. I, I look out. I look out my window and see my horses and my dogs and beautiful hills in uh, Central California, and I can't believe that I'm I'm so fortunate in in life. Wow! Yeah, you wow. created it, so that's okay. Yes, we have some guests here. This is like the Bo Derek Hour. I hope you can stay with us. <laughs> I got a I got a funny <laughs> question. Oh, Speaking of fun projects, what what was it like to work with the late great Chris Farley, uh, Brian Dennehy? You had David Spade and Rob Lowe and Tommy yep. Boy. Talk about that movie. Yep. Oh, it was so much fun. I didn't really prepare for the movie. I was I was um, off doing some business in Asia when I got the call. Had to get on a plane that night, fly all the way to Toronto from Hong Kong. Oof. So I arrived very jet-lagged, uh, not ready to get in a bathing suit <laughs> to oh. the school scene. But that was my first day's work. And be around so many incredibly talented, funny people. They were already a little family when I got there. And uh, but they made me feel welcomed uh, every day. It was just a joy to be around them. Wow. You can read, especially in comedy, you read a scene on a page and you think you understand it. Even if you know the actors, you think you, you know how it's going to go and how they're going to read a certain line or react. Mm -hmm. But with those two, with Chris Farley and David Spade, it was always a surprise. Mm. Wow. Now, I have some fans here. Of course, uh, Greg Raven's a mentalist. He does a lot of comedy and comedy clubs. And uh, he thought you were coming to the studio. We're in beautiful Clearwater Beach. And I'm like, no, she's calling in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he's a big fan of yours. I know Greg has been just waiting patiently. And he would like to ask you some amazing questions about your career as well. And thank you for taking the time out of your night to, uh, to join us. It means so much to me to help the world. You know, as a role model, beautiful woman that you are and you have so much that God has given you and you're so blessed and you're giving back so much and and again thank you for the thank time you. so Greg Raven how are you Bo hi I'm good thank you uh, well so I've, I've got a couple I, being a mentalist I kind of think outside the box just a smidge um, that's <laughs> right. that's one way to put it so I've got a couple odd questions for you and uh, the first one will be what's the weirdest thing a fan has done for you to get your attention oh That's an interesting question. Um, you know, I don't know to get my attention. I've had some strange ones. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the strangest. He was a lovely guy, but it kind of took me by surprise. I was getting off the train, and this young man came up to me. He was very nervous. He had a huge, big black portfolio. He said, would you sign something? And I said, well, this is strange, because now with, you know, since 9-11, you don't get to the gate anymore unless you have a ticket. I used to get greeted by, by fans getting off planes, but not anymore. You have to get down to baggage. So I thought that that took me aback a little bit. And then I said, sure. And then he opened his portfolio, and my Playboys just mm. flew across the floor. Oh, People were getting off the plane and laughing and uh, pointing, and it was a little embarrassing. And then um, I started to sign some for him. He was very nervous, very sweet. And I looked, I said, what happened? And he said, I was just, I just got out of the hospital. I was in the hospital for three weeks. I was attacked and my throat was slashed. Big scar on his throat. Oh, so wow. that was wow. probably, wow. he turned out to be lovely, but that was probably the oddest um, way to get my attention. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Wow. I'll sign anything you want. Poor guy. <laughs> and he had actually bought a ticket, an airplane ticket, to get into the terminal. Oh, wow. That's that's yeah. dedication. Yeah, yeah okay. isn't it? 
So what do you think of that as a mentalist? What does that tell you? I, I think that he, he definitely had something. Uh, he definitely was determined uh, and would not be deterred by anything at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, another question, and this is, this is again, it's kind of funny, kind of weird, but do you have a useless talent that most people don't know about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hmm. Well, you so, like you like to swim. I've heard. I swim. I took up swimming. I had back surgery from all my years of riding horses, um, and my physical therapy was getting in a pool and swimming. So I liked it so much. It's sort of the anti-horseback riding activity for your body, and um, I liked it so much. And a girlfriend started to come with me, and now we do open water swimming races. One a year in a pretty place and make a trip out of it. Nice. Nice. I'm predicting yeah. you're doing oh. something with her. Is that correct? I, I do have something I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna try. I'm going to try over the radio uh, a little effect. But uh, one last question, and that would be, um, now, you said you had back surgery. Do you still ride? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And and is your is your Hi, it was It was completely successful, my back surgery. It was microsurgery. It was stenosis. Oh, okay. Good, good. Not that major, but um, the only thing I can say is I should have done it a lot sooner. Oh yeah, I know that feeling. Uh, now, do you still yeah. do you still prefer the uh, Lusitano uh, horses over everything else, or, or or do you have a Ooh, new favorite? Somebody's doing horse. Somebody's <laughs> doing homework. Uh, yes, I do. It is my dream horse. It's the it's the breed that I imagined when I was a little girl galloping over the hills with my hair. Nice. My girlfriend used to ride competitively. So we, uh, we, we, we got into a conversation about this this morning, actually. <laughs> so I was just kind of <laughs> curious. Okay, so I have a quick trick. I don't know if you're watching or you, otherwise you're just going to have to take our word for it. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> okay, okay. I, uh, now, Dawn, would you describe what I'm handing to you right now, please? Sure. It just says Hollywood Connection prediction. Hmm, this is interesting. And, okay. Well, before we open it, we should probably get going on it. Uh, probably to ask the question first. Okay. Is it sealed, first of all? It's very sealed. Okay, don't open it just yet. Wait. Uh, no, okay. Uh, patience is virtue. Um, now, <laughs> we only have a half hour. I understand <laughs> that. Now, Bo, would you do me a favor? I want you to now don't choose anything uh, normal. Don't choose anything just. Uh, uh, off the uh, uh, that's personal to you. I want you to think of a three digit number, any three digits that you want, but don't say it just yet, okay? All right, and you can change your mind as many times as you like. You just let me know when you finally got it. I got it, okay? Perfect, Dawn. Now, would you open that envelope, please? Okay, I didn't know he was gonna do this though, so um, if you bear with me, <laughs> <laughs> kind of rough with and inside envelope. is another envelope. It's is it sealed? sealed? Yes, it is. Could you open that envelope for me, please? Okay, I'm opening. And inside that is and another envelope. And the winner is Bo Derek. <laughs> and I'll take that. I'll take okay. that. Hang on. Okay, you can't I'll take it. that. Now, what was the number you were thinking of? Was it, I'm sorry, it was three numbers or one number? Three numbers. Three numbers. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. One, two, three. So, okay. Cool. Now, you did you change your mind at all, or did you just go with that? I, I changed my mind. Okay. <laughs> now, I mean, I, that was my first one, then I changed my mind, then I went back to it. Okay. Dawn, would you verify what is actually written on there? Oh, my gosh. It <laughs> no, says, no, no, no. One, two, three. I'm unbelievable. Uh, this is unbelievable. Wow. On a, he, wow. That's amazing. And it's on the back of my business card. <laughs> So <laughs> that is incredible. You'll have Yay. to go back and watch it later. So, all right. I believe you. you know, I was I was lucky enough to have lunch with Yuri Geller once. Oh, interesting. And he just blew my mind. And I'm a very I'm I'm very skeptical about all this, but there was just no rhyme or reason why he was able to reset my watch. Uh wow. he went across the room and Drew what I what I drew. It was fantastic. Oh yes, I do that kind of thing, and I I, I had the distinct pleasure to meet uh, um, the the amazing Kreskin one time. He was very interesting as well. Mm. You know, yep. I was I have a question. Your mom is so gorgeous as well, and uh, and I was watching something, and how you were discovered um, because this is Hollywood Connections. Is Aunt, your mom worked for Anne Margaret, and yes. somebody yes, saw you. Can you tell us that story? Because that's so phenomenal. And you weren't even expecting. You wanted to be an ocean, ocean, 
Wait, uh, oceanographer. oceanographer. That's right, oceanographer. And, uh, and yeah. you love to sail. And, and then this came about. So can you kind of brief me on the story? Because it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, mother, my mother and father were really good friends with Anne Margaret and Roger Smith as, you know, couples. And then uh, when my parents divorced, my mom started working for Anne Margaret in uh, Las Vegas, particularly uh, with her nightclub shows and uh, did her hair uh, and anything else she needed. And they were very good friends. And so a lot of our summers, as kids, there were four of us, we would spend part of it up in Las Vegas in the Hilton. And um, so one night backstage after the first show of the night, um, there was, I think I was 15, there was an agent, friend of Anne Margaret, and he looked over at me and said, uh, have you ever acted? No. Have you ever modeled? Well, I had done a little, you know, regional kind of modeling, mm -hmm. and uh, mainly for my father and his uh, Hobie Cat business. And uh, he said, um, you know, you should be getting movies. And I thought, okay, that was good. Sure. No problem. That was easy. And um, he changed my name, and he ended up, introducing me to a director who would become my husband, John Derrick. But, mm. uh, you know, how I entered the business is shame, was shamefully easy because I know how hard people work, how serious, how talented they are, and they didn't, they haven't had that lucky break that I had. Wow, no. that's that's so blessed. Uh, you've got angels like God's walking, yeah. watching over you. I'll yes. tell you. you now I have Kenny Ray. He's an actor, mm -hmm. and uh, he's next to me, and and he's got something to say. Hello, Timbo Derek. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bo. Hi, Kenny. How are you? I'm doing good. It's been 38 years since I've seen you last. <laughs> yeah. Now you laugh, yeah, that's and that's the God's time. honest truth. Because let me tell you the experience back in the day when I was doing. Uh, bit parts on police story, police woman. I I had a uh, a job that was offered to me by Holiday Motors in Van Nuys to sell yeah. the exotic cars, and I met you and yeah. John back in the service department with Jay, the service man. I don't know if you remember those days, and your Jaguar was an XJ6 or something. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, and it had X X X zero 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 on the plate. I remember. Oh my God! That's so funny. You know that that car was a lemon. Oh, they are, <laughs> but they're beautiful. And that one? No, I was on the four hundred five. My wheels. Well, I tried to sell you another car, but you just. It went rolling in front. Didn't work. Of me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and John was kind of perturbed because I guess it was a piece of crap. But anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was it was really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. But that's okay. There's the other cars was, in the, the world. Company was good though. The the Jaguar ended up replacing my car for me. Oh, it was wow. just one of the lemons. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. There, and there was no lemon rules. That's me, but, funny. What a coincidence, though. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a hundred pounds ago and a hundred years ago. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, I was doing these parts and everything. And uh, it was it was nice to meet you guys. But I didn't want to bother you too much, you know. Uh, I just said hello, how are you, and everything else. And you just was concentrating on the car, I guess. But do you remember Jay, yeah. the serviceman, the tall tall gentleman? I I can't say that. I no, know. I guess so. Well, they were talking thirty eight years ago. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah that is. I can't yeah. Remember it was nineteen eighty. It was nineteen. <laughs> it was around nineteen. But I remember my wheels falling off on the freeway. That I. <laughs> oh my goodness! Sure. You remember what? My wheel. Oh. The whole tire came off and really rolled in front of me as I was driving. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Oh wow! Yeah. Well, you okay, know, Kenny, you're talking 38 years it was, ago. Oh, look at that! Look at that tire going on the freeway, and then your car. That's amazing. <laughs> so they must have towed yeah. the car in. It was terrible. Yeah, well, it was really awesome. terrible. I know he's trying to he's having trying to make Bo Derek remember thirty eight years ago, which that's awesome because that's really super cool. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you go to the doctor for your checkups, you know. And I'm, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm fifty eight, so you know, and I and I have three sons that are grown, and and a new husband that we have a sailboat in the marina. I keep doing this flight attendant thing I used to do, <laughs> but you know, you go to the doctor's office and they look at you and they go, "So, um, are you having any memory losses?" And I'm, I, <laughs> oh my I'm like, I, you know, you know what? I'm gonna forget this place when I leave. <laughs> <Yes, definitely. laughs> you know. Yeah. I'm like, oh, 
But anyways, we're excited. We have some of my reporters, and that's what I do, Bo Derek. I have reporters around the United States, and we're super excited. And one was to ask you, do you have some more time you can spend with us for a few more minutes? I have a few more minutes. Awesome. I know that Carrie from Michigan, she's one of our top reporters for Hollywood Connections, and I help train them and get them out there, and she wants to say hello to you. Well, and before she does, and I'm, and I'm sorry, this yes. is Nisi Bo. I do have one quick question. Yes. Are you in sure. the process of doing any films or TV shows in the near future? Um, I did a film, an Indian film, that's coming out, I think, in a couple of weeks. Oh, Ooh. that's cool. Uh, well, five, five weddings. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a lovely Indian film, uh, kind of a romantic comedy, but it deals with um, discrimination and the uh, caste system. It's it's it was a beautifully written um, comedy. Oh, oh so wow. where can we oh, see that? Cool. Well, where, where will it be? Five weddings. I'm not sure. Okay. Honestly. Okay, well, we'll um, keep an eye out for that small one. small part, but I, I love the script. I love the, I love the social issues that dealt with through comedy and romance. Okay. And, Bo, one more last thing. I'm Kenny, I'm back. Um, I remember yeah. your outfit that you were in. You had a white... <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, I have to remember scripts, but I have to let you... I have to share this with you. You had a white runny outfit on. Was it... Now, do you remember that? <laughs> you had a white you were so gorgeous forget about it She's but i mean all i could see was the so white running outfit excuse me thank you for remembering you know this is why you must always be kind to people mm -hmm. right. you never yeah. Know yeah. Kind of impact yeah. you'll have on them. well i have to remember scripts so i got to remember everything and everybody's name i tried yeah. anyway yeah all i need all i need to know is that i was kind because yeah, you know, yeah. that's wow. the worst now the question is, Bo, were you crying when you were doing uh, Sharknado Three? What was that experience like? Because <laughs> I'm crying with laughter because that movie is just something else. Tell me, tell me about that experience. It's um, it was you know I didn't really know the films when I did it, and coincidentally I, I work in um, with wildlife uh, wildlife trafficking group called Wild Aid. Highly effective, does brilliant work, and I was with them on a trip. When I got the call for Sharknado, and I immediately said, "No, no, no, no! I could couldn't do that. That would be terrible for conservation." And hung up the phone, and I told my friend, who's the founder of Wild Aid, he said, "Oh no, you've got to do it. It's great." <laughs> so <laughs> I called them back and ended up doing it. But I thought they would be horribly offended that I would even consider doing something, you know, that uh, I don't know even know what you call it. That's so I would think it would maybe be bad for con uh, conservation, but. But they explain to me, no, that uh, it reaches young people and, and funny enough, in a positive way, even though our hero carries around a chainsaw to hack up sharks. <laughs> yes. <I know>. <laughs> when, they, when they come out of a tornado, of course. So Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know. But it's very campy. It's, it's a lot of fun. The cast is good. It is a, it, funny enough, they stay true. You think with all the success, the quality of production will get a little better. But no, it's still the same budget, the same uh, shoestring budget. It's, it's interesting. They've tapped mm. into something. Else. Wow, amazing. Yeah. So I know Carrie's patiently waiting from Michigan. Carrie? Uh, yes, hi, Carrie. She's ready. Uh, hi, Bo. I am we're the current World Miss Tourism Lifetime Queen. And I was just wondering what it was like for you, growing up as a child, did you get involved with many pageants for as beautiful as you are? Oh, thank you. Um, I did a little. I did do one. I was like, some photographers came by my school for photo day, and they were portrait photographers, amateurs. And uh, this one sweet man, old man and his wife, they won a prize with my portrait. And so then they suggested I enter the Miss Teen California, and I won it. Wow. Wow. And that is awesome. But it was funny because I was so, as usual, so unprepared. I felt so silly because I just, you know, I was a beach girl. I put on a bathing suit and walked down the runway with no shoes. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. And I looked, I looked right. around and... And this junior teen is, you know, got gloves up to the shoulders and false eyelashes and high heels. Wow. And I just felt so, did, such a hillbilly. 
<laughs> it was so funny. But I did win, and then um, it didn't last because I, I didn't realize I had to go to meetings and I had to go to lunches, and I still have the telegram. Oh my saying goodness. that they were taking my crown away. Oh, I oh. But I just, I didn't understand the responsibility and the obligation that follows winning a crown. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yes, it, yeah, it is a lot of responsibility, but when you're young, you don't realize that. So, well, I appreciate your time, Bo, and God bless you. Wow. Thank you. You too. So that's so exciting. So you, you've done so much. Is there anything you want to do? Have you want, I mean, you've traveled the world. Uh, you know, what, what is in your heart to do next that, you know, that you want to pursue? Besides you doing know, I'm, uh, I, I love helping people that do great work. So, for instance, mm -hmm. on wildlife trafficking, I love working with Wild Aid um, and supporting people. It's a great honor when someone you admire says, can you help? And mm -hmm. you're in a position to help. So that's. Well, well I need help. <laughs> yeah. Well, I that's need more celebrities. Sorry. I worked in horse racing. I was a racing commissioner um, for the state of California for seven years. I'm wow. still on the board of Del Mar Racetrack. I love working oh. on horse issues from the inside of the industry. That's been very rewarding. I just started um, doing some photography. I have... Uh, a nice spread in Santa Barbara Magazine that just came out today. Oh, um, congratulations. The people that I, yeah, the people that I care about, it's, it's a beautiful spread. And, uh, mm. you know, for a lazy person, I find I'm always busy. <laughs> Why don't they do a, a documentary, I mean, like life movie on you? I mean, from beginning to end, have they? has anyone offered you that yet? That would be amazing. Well, beginning to now. Well, you know, but, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm talking 110, you know. <laughs> You know, I'm also, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. My, um, thank the gods, my life has been blessed. And uh, there, you, if you're going to tell a good story, you have to have a lot more conflict and drama than mine um, mm. to make it interesting. Mm. And, uh, well, you seem so happy and, and the animals and, and what you're mm -hmm. doing. And uh, we, did, we just want to thank you so much for yes, your time. Yes, we do. And we need help with more celebrities. You said you'd like to help. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Bo, if you need a driver, just call Donna. No, <laughs> okay. uh, It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Ms. Bo Derek. And uh, Thank you so if much. you're ever in Clearwater Beach, we'd love to have you in the studio with us. I don't know, do you ever get to Florida? I mean, I, I used to live in California. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I love that area. I, I was mm. there. I was uh, honored at a dinner. Was it, I don't know the exact name. It's not the Holocaust Museum. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, that's in uh, St. Pete. Clearwater, yeah. you have a beautiful museum there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, so I, I was being honored by them. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, if that's you're awesome. here ever next time, I know my husband's in the back. He's shouting up through a glass window, <laughs> and I can't read lips, honey. So what, what are you saying? I can't go on the microphone. He's trying to say <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, but anyways. But we I think he's shy. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Well, Bo Derek, it's been a pleasure. I know our fans love to hear, um, you know, stories of, you yes. know, of what you've done. And another thing, you know, we have a 70s cruise I'm working on. And have you ever thought about are you doing any of that as well? You know, like they bring back some of the stars from the cruise ships and go on and mean, mingle. Have you? No. No. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. Um, I don't oh. know. I've never even been asked, so no. Okay. Well, yes, I'm looking it up now. It's in St. Petersburg, Florida, the Florida Holocaust Museum. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty amazing. St. I was just there. I, I was just on a set. Okay. Right next door to where I parked my car, and I saw the Holocaust uh, Museum there. As a matter of fact, I parked right in the parking lot. Nice. Wow. And I did, uh, yeah, I did really, a scene with uh, Paul moving. Wilson. So everybody it's check that out. Moving. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, wonderful people. I highly recommend it. That mm -hmm. is so cool. I know. Wait, Peter, you're saying something? My producer? Yeah, we got uh, Teresa on the line. She wants to ask her a question, too. Okay, one more. Okay, Teresa right, Heist from California, another one of my amazing reporters. Hi, Dawn. How you doing? I'm fabulous. We have a few seconds. Do you want to ask Bo Derek a question? Yes, yes. I'm World Classic Miss Tourism 2019. Hi, Bo Derek. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you? <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> I want to ask you. 
I wanted to ask you a question about film uh, producing. I read that, that you were into film producing. Uh, what do you love yes. most about film producing? You know, I'm doing, I'm part of a production group right now that's doing the most amazing project called WAP, Women Air Force Service Pilots in World War II. And it's a story that for some reason has never been told. And I can't wait. Hopefully we'll start production next year. Mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, first, I think it's hmm. to, be in, to be part of creating and getting everything needed on the set that day from the actors, the set, the food that feeds everyone, everything, all the details, um, and then watch the magic happen in front of the camera. Yeah, the is, magic, uh, exactly, yeah. That you, can't, you can't necessarily get it, but when you get all the elements there and the right director, it's, uh, it's, it's really wonderful. Well, well, Teresa, I know it goes so fast. And Bo Derek, we want everyone to buy your pet Thank product. Thank you. Yes, and go to Bo Derek Pet Care dot com, and they can order right off the website. Yes, get your products now. Yes. And also, is it in any stores at all that they can go and get it, or is it just off the website? It is. And if anyone um, has a local pet store they'd like to carry it, have them contact us. We'll work it out right away. Um, I know we're in Florida, but I think the best way in my in area. Oh, I'm meeting somebody that's with a pet store next week. So I will definitely bring yes. that to the table. Yay. For sure. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. I appreciate that. Well, we're excited. Any of anybody else just want to say goodbye? Thank you so much. I Bye, know Bo. it's been such a pleasure. Bye. And, yes. wow, Bye. And our favorite Bye. star, <laughs> and she still is, and gorgeous. And we just got speed ahead in everything you do, Bo Derek. And thank you so much for calling in. Awesome. God bless Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye. Wow. That was amazing. That was awesome. Wasn't that awesome? Yeah, for awesome. Uh, you know what? You said you 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 more stay and the time we're playing tonight. How about we go to some uh, jungle love? How about oh, that? Perfect. Let's do it. Let's perfect. do it. Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay, I need to switch over. Welcome to Hollywood Connections. I'm super excited to bring back Butch Patrick from the Monsters, and I know he's on tour right now. And uh, welcome, Butch Patrick. Are you there? Sure. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's exciting. You know, we had Dr. Paul Bear on the other day, and he was bragging about you. He's like, yes, I'm doing appearances when he's in town with you. So that was really a fun show, especially for October, you know, and you're out and about, and you're in Las Vegas. Is that correct? No, right now I'm in North Carolina. Oh, okay. I think you were in Vegas and then you're traveling. So, you know, I have to ask you, I, I see that you're going on a big cruise coming up. With all yeah, that'll be next, next year. That's really exciting. So when will it be and how can people, you know, um, learn more about it? And I see there's a lot of other 70 stars with you. Yeah, the best thing to do for that is go to Munsters.com, which always has my schedule on a day-to-day -day basis updated. Uh, you can get the information from there, and that will lead you to a direct link to the cruise itself. Okay, and what date is that going to be? Oh, goodness. Next. <laughs> you got me. Uh, I believe it's next November, the first weekend in November, first or second weekend in November. It's a, it's a year out, so you have plenty of time to find it. Wow, that's good. I would love to do that. You know, Butch, I'm an official travel agent. I actually am with Expedia. I bought a franchise. And uh -huh. uh, so me and my husband, actually, I'm the main one because I do all the tests, and I just passed with my princess, so we're going on a cruise. And I'd love to help book that with people and, and start writing a commercial for you. 
Oh, that would be wonderful. You know, it's funny because uh, that would be great, number one. It's like, I've never been on a cruise. Believe it or not, I'm you know, 65 years old. I've been on large ships going across a ferry or going to Santa, you know, Catalina from Los Angeles. But I've never been on a formal cruise, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. And then once you I do. I think so. Yes, and once you're done, you can always book through me in the future. <laughs> Absolutely, of course. Yes, so I have a big fan. She's sitting next to me, my sister-in-law, Lena, and she would like to ask you a question. Uh, this is Butch Patrick. She used to watch you as well when we grew up, you know, not just a star in the Monsters, but also you were on, you know, um, My Three Sons and in some other shows as well. So you had a big acting debut in, in a lot of other shows and commercials. So Yes, I did. I worked from 60 to 72, and I kept pretty, pretty busy for the 12-year run. I did four other series, and... I uh, did a lot of guest starring roles, as you mentioned, in movies and commercials. So, yeah, I was, I was a busy little guy. Awesome. Well, take it away, Lena. There you go. Oh, well, uh, hi. How are you, first of Hello, all? Hello. Is, Le- is it Lena? Yeah, Lena. it's Lena. Yes, her ringtone is Lena, 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 Lena when she calls <laughs> me. Because <laughs> <laughs> my wife's name is Lila, so there's Lila to Willie. We have lots of L's. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. So hey, us L names got to stick together. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, the question, I, <clears throat> the question I do have for you, and it's one that kind of, kind of, I've seen the monsters and I've seen you as a little kid, and I'm not going to, you probably get this all the time in saying that you were absolutely the cutest little kid on the show. <laughs> you know, I loved your little antics and, you know, it just reminded me at the, at my age at the time of watching the monsters. But was there any time when you were a little kid coming out to the movie set that something like spooked you or that kind of when you went home that night that you kind of had a dream about it or anything because i see some of the things that they put on the movie set or on the set and to me as a little kid that would scare the bejesus out of me was there anything no. at that time that kind of like gave you like a little spook no, actually, not on the monster set. Uh, you know, it was, it, it's interesting when you make a movie because it's really basically just a uh, a job. You know, you walk in to see the stuff before and after, and then when it, by the time it comes on the TV screen, they've edited it and they've shrunk it down to where you don't see anything outside the 24-inch, you know, screen you have at home or 32 or whatever size TV you got. So you don't really see the the run-of-the-mill, the guy holding the coffee cup and the, and the guy up in the catwalk. Oh, the I see. And, all the little unglamorous things that could go beyond it. But there was one time I was over on the Alfred Hitchcock set, and they had, for whatever it was, they had some kind of a shrunken head in a jar sitting on a table on a hot set. The hot set is a set that's being prepared for filming. Do not go on it. You know, do not touch anything. It's, it's there for a reason. And that kind of caught me off guard one time that, that I thought I was looking at. Me. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> you know what's exciting? See, you were younger, of course, when you got this part, and you were living with your grandmother in Chicago, in Illinois. What part of Chicago are you from? Actually, it's not Chicago. It's a little town called Geneseo, ninety miles west of Chicago. Um, it was a small town, Mumbling, near the Mississippi. Yeah, I... uh, But but the train from Chicago used to come flying through this little town and shake the whole town every day. Um, it didn't even stop. It just it just came through at three p.m. So everybody knew it. Uh, but I, I have friends in Chicago, and I, but I was living in a very small town. My grandma was a small town gal. She moved from LA back to like a Main Street USA type of cobblestone street, one stoplight, volunteer fire department, ice cream social, the whole nine yards. It was great. Well, you know, it's so cool because um, it said that you know I was reading your bio on this, and that you got the you got an audition. You went, you flew to LA, and yes. you got the part. And so, how did that work? What was your prior acting? Were you doing commercials, or what commercials did you do prior to that? I did the first series. I did a little. First of all, I went on a little movie. It was it was interesting the way they found me. My sister was the actual target for the photographer. They were getting pictures of her done for potentially putting her in some print modeling and some magazines. I went along for the ride. She was two. I was seven. After they were done with her, Amos Carr, the famous uh, Hollywood photographer, had a studio on Hollywood Boulevard. Took a couple pictures of me for his own, you know, for his own resume and for his own his own photo photo booth. So what he did is he put this picture in his window that he liked to me. And the producer and the director happened to be walking by. They noticed the picture. They were casting a movie. They were, they were looking for new faces, and I had never worked before. So they, they tracked me down, and the guy said, he's not an actor, but if you want to talk to him, I know where you can reach his little sister's agent. And that's how they tracked me down. I went wow. on the they hired, they hired me, and then after that, I did a year of the Real McCoys, and I did a year of the Hospital. And by the, the time the Munsters came along, I had about 30 credits. Wow. So what part did you play in General Hospital? 
Oh, that's an easy one. I think my name was Tommy, but it was Dr. Hardy's girlfriend's son, Katie. Dr. So Dr. Hardy's Dr. girlfriend's Hardy, son. Dr. Hardy, I was, I was the, doctor, the son of his love interest. Yeah, I grew up watching General Hospital, that's why. Yeah, very exciting. Yep. I know we have a caller on the phone, I think, um, Ed is back there. And uh, let's see who's on the air. We have one of my reporters that are calling in, and they're okay. also fans of yours. And Okay, yeah, welcome. Hi, Hollywood Connections. Are you there? Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Don. This is Carrie O'Gorman, your world's most tourism lifetime queen. That's right. And I have a question she's, for her butch. Yeah, okay. she's from Michigan. So we are back, and there's more of this interview, and we only have five minutes. Right. So we are, no, well, he cannot leave. No, 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 no. We're taking pictures afterwards, three minutes. And uh, yeah, <laughs> he's trying to run out the door. He just wanted to come in and talk to Bo Derek. That was it. <laughs> yeah, this is so mean. I know, it's so mean. Just, I mean, what are we, chopped liver here? Yeah, Although you guys, we, are, you we guys love are chopped, you guys are chopped liver. Well, That's wait, right. wait, 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 wait. Right. You're talking about chopped liver. I got to tell you, I, I went to, I won two tickets to Capitol Theater. Well, Ruth Eckert, I went to see Mind Games. Right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it, liver was in the scene on something. I can't get into it, but oh, I want to tell you. Liver. you they actually, they were from a dead body. But anyway. oh, God. Oh, God. You know, oh, tonight has just been so fun. And I don't want liver or want to see a show well, about liver. No, but these, <laughs> I'm either. trying to get yeah. the actresses here because it was very interesting, of course, when my husband decided to um, take the water bottle and make noise and the usher ladies were looking at me going, all right, lady. And then he opens <laughs> the candy. Okay, this is in the air. He opens the candy, the M&M's. He's like, honey, look, a green one. Have one. <laughs> I'm like, honey, shh. Everybody's looking at us. <laughs> He's like, does he not remember? He's and laughing. then my husband falls asleep. And then it comes to be the second part of the show. He's like, honey, I have heartburn. Now, we've been married for three years. I gave him the married look. And I gave him the keys to the car. <laughs> Let go of the car. <laughs> Honey, I'll be out after the play. You know, next week we're going to have our own comedy show Tom, just with Tom, Dawn Tom, and her Tom, stories. Tom. You know, this is going to be <laughs> exciting. Hysterical. So we have a couple minutes. Renee is here to talk about the Tampa Bay Film Society. We're working on a big event, and she's going to just take it away right now. Tell us about it. Well, really this quickly. event, hi, everybody. This, this event is going to be November 11th, and it's from 3 to 6. Okay. It's going to be at the Sunset Terrace which used to be the old Papa's in Tarpon Springs, 10 D. Deconese Road. And it's it's just going to be a really nice event that is the Tampa Bay Film Society is having the fundraiser slash scholarship. Okay. And what's happening is we're going to have this great, great, you know, fashion show. And even Nisi, you're going to be part of this. That's what uh, she keeps oh, telling yes, me. Oh, yes, you are. You are. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have guys and girls. We're going to have this fashion show. We're also going to have uh, an event where you can come as your best if you want to be Bo Derek. If you want to be. Wow. No, wait, Bo Derek you is know? only Bo Derek. She's, All right, so. Nobody can be Bo Derek. Well, she is, no, no, really, she can't. She is like authentic original. Okay, so. She's like with the Picasso. hat, with the blonde hair, you could be Bo Derek, my dear. No. So anyway. Bo Derek is authentic. I do, okay, fine. Well, I do want to say something. <laughs> okay. There's going to be original. people that are dressed as actors and actresses. There you go. And there's going to be a contest. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to come dress like that, you can come dress dressed up like your evening event. There's going to be soft music. There's going to be memorabilia that's going to be auctioned off. Wow. There is also going to be a 50-50. There is going to be appetizers and champagne. Wow. And the tickets are on sale. Two for $50, $30 each. And they can contact you, Dawn. That's right. You can call um, actually 727-871-7788. Text me right. and we'll send you the information for the Tampa Bay Film Society. Right. Or 813-943-7377. My name is Renee and we will help you out. And Dawn is going to be our MC. I will. you got to come there. We'll have our reporters there yes. and we're excited. And yes, we are. carpet now, they can dress up like Marilyn Monroe. Uh, um, absolutely. You know, Bo and you, Derek. No, absolutely. And Bo Derek. It's going to be a red carpet event. It's going to be a red carpet event. There's going to be a lot of what uh, if you VIPs. Dress up as Donald Trump. Oh. Well, no, <laughs> not that VIP. But you know what? There's going to be a lot of VIPs there. Yes. Um, actually, um, Mr. Krantz is going to be there too. Andrew. Right. He's going to be one of our VIPs. I mean, he just finished sorry. the invitation. I know. And we're going to talk about that next. We only have absolutely. Two minutes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're I, good. I spit it out. Okay. Quick. <laughs> She's Italian. You know, I'm Italian. <laughs> talking my hands too. So, but I'm talking up with my mouth. It's going to be with my hands. Okay. So the last few seconds, you just remember you guys, the snowbirds are back. Be careful out there driving. Yes. And remember, I gave the information to Bo, Be Der Bo Derek's website for her pet care and uh, buy that product, you know, and you really support 
for giving away to the yes. yeah the, the veterans the as veterans. well the yeah. dogs yes that's amazing and we want to thank her so much for calling in that's what makes hollywood connection special yes. you know a lot of the stars that we work with they are, have really amazing hearts and they give back yes and it means a lot to me for them to do that and again thank you from my heart bo derek for calling in and also Butch Patrick, we pre-recorded that show as well. And uh, you can hear all of the show. Uh, we're going to have this on podcast, live yes. video feed. Like us on Facebook. Yay. Don Reese. DC. DCP, here I am. That's right. In your Facebook. DC. Emma. <laughs> and and remember, <laughs> you give God all the glory in your life. Watch things happen. Get on your knees. What do you want in life? Be thankful for what you've got and start praying for what you want. And uh, just give back to the community. Give back to people. And be nice to one another. Yes. Don't step on anyone to get where you want to yes, go. I'm correct. Dawn Reese, Hollywood Connections. Peter I'm Blake. DCP. Thank you. Yes, and you're Peter, welcome. We'll tune in tomorrow to your sports show. Yes, uh, the evolution of sports talk radio. It's the sports web. You get your own walking music. We let you call in twice, and we don't hang up on you like those other sports talk shows do on the Tan Talk Sports Network from 3 to 6. I'm your host, Peter Blake, giving you something to think about. We're All off right. to the Jazz Festival. Yay. Sheila E is performing Doobie Brothers tomorrow. Yay. We're going to go kick interviews. That's right. Uh, bye. Bye, you bye guys. Bye. Bye. WTAN, Clearwater, FM 106.1, WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay, WZHR, Zephyr Hills, FM 104.3. Listen. You'd like to keep those orders, probably. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but if you don't, Boeing, Dennis, you can, you can let me know. Congress could also impose sanctions on the Saudis or make financial cutoffs in terms of international banking. I'm Barbara Cusack. Top U.S. intelligence officials say they're concerned about ongoing campaigns by several countries to undermine American democracy. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence, the Homeland Security Department, the Justice Department, and the FBI have issued a joint statement. It says Russia, China, Iran, and other countries seek to, quoting here, influence voter perceptions and decision-making.